Hi everybody, in this tutorial we are going to get this face ready for animation by rigging the facial features. So rigging the facial features is a little bit different from rigging the bodies of characters. So basically we're going to use smart bone dials um, that we attach the various shapes to um, and then we can move the dials and those dials will move the shapes into the various kinds of positions that we want to convey a certain expression for. Smiles, frowns, um, we'll use smart bone dials for the brows and the, the pupils and then also the eyelids for blinking. Um, for the brows we will make it so they can move up and down and also change shape so they look angry or sad and it's really cool so um, we'll get started here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is add all of our artwork into a bone layer. So we're going to take this entire head, let's add a layer, a bone layer, and we'll call it, um, let's just call it character. Not very creative, but whatever. Um, and then we're going to move this folder, the, our head folder, inside that uh, bone folder. Now we can add bones to, to operate on the artwork. So select the bone layer though and it gives us all these bone tools. The ones that we're going to need to know right now is really just this add bone tool, um, maybe the select bone and then um, also the manipulate bone over here. A for add bone, you can pr press B to select bone and then Z to manipulate the bones. Um, but first let's just add a bone. It's already selected and now we can go to bone and go down and say make smart bone dial and then it opens up this dialog box um, we can we're gonna wanna name the bone let's start with the eyelids so we're gonna call this yeah we'll just say eyelids eyelids uh, minimum angle 90 negative 90 maximum angle is 90 um, and then duration frames is 100 that's just fine I like to do uh, one uh, one action for both directions um, but you can play around with doing two different actions um, that means if you move the the bone to the left in a negative fashion then it'll do one motion of your artwork and then if you go the other way it'll do a completely different motion so um, but for these eyelids I think one motion will do it so let's unclick this um, and it'll be one action from left to right Basically, from left, we'll have the eyelids open, and then when we move the bone all the way to the right, the eyelids will be closed. And let's say OK. And then it opens up this, uh, this blue panel down here in the timeline view, um, and this just shows what our action is going to do. OK, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go to frame 1. You can use your arrow keys and go one to the right, or just select it on this blue bar with your mouse. And you can see up here, the bone has been turned all the way to the right. So I think that's the position we'll want it to be in when we have the eyelids closed. So now let's open our head. We're going to go down to the eyes. Uh, open the eyes and then we want to select our, we want the mask to move. Um, and then when the mask closes we will not be able to see anything. So at frame one we want everything to be closed. Let's grab the top parts and we can move those down. They do most of the work, right? Um, let's grab the bottom lids and we'll let them do some of the work. All right, so that's where it will be when it's closed. So then um, go back to the bone layer at the top and you can scroll all the way to frame 100, that is our, our action for this bone. Um, this is where we're going to have things completely open. So now go back to the, the eye mask. We're going to, we want it to be open as much as possible, like wide, right? like surprised wide kind of thing, right? Um, might want to go to 
these lines, we can make these go up a little bit too when he opens really wide. Come back to my mask and I think we're gonna make it just a little wider. All right, he's super wi eyes wide open. I like it, okay. So what we did is we created an action on the smart bone dial. That action window is next to your style window. If you click on that actions, we made an action called eyelids. Um, now click the, double click the main line and that takes us back to our main timeline and we can uh, go to manipulate bones. If we click on our bone layer, press Z or click on the manipulate bone uh, tool and now we can see he closes those eyes He's blinking with the with the movement of that bone and it looks pretty darn good zoom in just very slightly we did our best uh, that's what happens when you use a mask sometimes you can't get it to close perfectly um, you'd have to use two different shapes instead of a mask but and you could do that but anyway you can open up really wide or blink it's really cool um, let me see if I can get a good view of it for you to see. Open really wide. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so we've done our eyelids. Um, why don't we do the pupils? We're going to do this basically just the same thing. I think I'm going to do two different bones, though. I'm going to do one bone for moving the pupils up and down and one for moving them left and right. And we're going to just use the same process that, um, uh, that we used for the eyelids. And we'll see the pupils move up and down. They move up and down. They can move down. We can move the eyelids uh, open or close. We, so it's really cool. You start to see your character come to life. Um, love it. Okay. So now we're going to do pupils left to right uh, using the same process here. Oh, let's deselect this bone because otherwise it'll parent the new bone to the old bone. So let's. Uh, if you press select bone and then click off the bone, that's what it does. All right, so this is going to be pupils left, right. Boom. That easy. Um, now if you go back, click on your main timeline, now we can really animate this guy. Uh, select your bone character. We can double check the rigging. Movement. That's great up and down you can go down and in, into the corners so in, in diagonal it's great and it's looking great it, it really is um, open up the eyelids all the way he's super surprised very cool okay so next let's do the let's do the brow so this is really what's going to show the facial emotion along with the mouth um, but let's go ahead and do the brow oh We'll rename it brow up and down, I think. Let's do the up and down first because I want to do the emotion of the brow and then also just the movement up and down. That easy. Go back to the main timeline. You can test it out. Looks good. Um, oh, let's rename it. So this brow, if you right click on the action, um, rename, and you'll call it, let's call it brow U D up and down um, now one thing that's important it's not going to work you have to have the names match the the name of the bone needs to be the name of the action as well uh, I learned that the hard way there we go okay so now it works that's why they have to be named properly brow down pupils left everything is working how we want it to work this will be brow left right brow l r make smart bone dial
All right, so that'll be our sort of sad brow or other. Um, okay, press main line. Let's see how they work together. Brow down, right? Brow down if we want to make him more angry. See, that looks pretty good together. So that's sort of the angry brow. Sad brow. You can put it down lower or it's more surprised. Uh, looks good. It's giving it some emotion. Looks good. Okay, so next will be the mouth. So for the mouth, I think I'm going to do three different smart bones. I'm going to do one for an open close, one for a wide and narrow, and then also one for a happy, sad expression. Um, and this is just going to be a little bit different. I'm not lip syncing this character, so there's not going to be any talking um, for this character that I'm making. Um, but if you were to do talking, you could either do switch layers or you could set, um, use a smart bone dial for the various positions of the expressions of the mouth for each phenome that you were trying to, to say um, with the language. Um, but for this animation, for this character, I'm only going to be doing facial expressions. So it'll be wide and narrow, open, closed, um, and, and happy, sad. Okay, let's see how these are going to work. Let's click on the main timeline. Mouth, oops, oh, we're going to have to move the teeth with that. That got disconnected somehow. But here's happy and sad. Of course, we'll close the mouth a little bit with the sad. It looks good, generally. There's a good frown. And then, of course, when we add the uh, brows, we can make them look really sad. There we go. That looks great. Um, but we are going to have to fix those teeth on the open close. Let's do that. All right, guys. So we've rigged our, our character to be able to make facial expressions. Um, make him look sick or whatever, happy, sad, evil. <laughs> um, so uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment on what you liked about it or what you'd like to see in the future. Um, otherwise, uh, have a good day. Take care.